Hello YouTube, it's Jim Chapman on American Air Gun Hunter and today I want to talk about a, um, a type of gun that's been gaining a lot of traction and getting a lot of interest in the marketplace and that's the pistol carbine conversion and today I'm going to talk about the Hatson Jet. It's a new entry, a uh, fairly new entry on the market and um, I think it stands out in this, uh, this category for a couple reasons that we'll discuss. Ultra compact carbines are often but not always designed as pistols and then converted with a stock some type of stock um, to be a, a, a carbine and as such a lot of them end up neither fish nor fowl they're not really an optimized handgun they're not really an optimized carbine um, they get stuck somewhere in the middle ground so fitting into this category is one thing but doing it well is something else altogether now in this video I'm going to look as I said at the uh, jet and it's a gun that I've had some experience with out plinking and shooting targets and um, I'm getting ready to go out and do some some small game hunts with it but I really wanted to work through the gun and see what I thought about it first. I mentioned the trick is getting it right very often when this gun is a pistol carbine conversion it either ends up with a pistol that's huge it's very big it's awkward it's clumsy it has tanks or things hanging off of it but it's not really optimized for use as a handgun oftentimes it's also not the best um, uh, carbine because the the stock configuration the ergonomics are off and so getting it right is hard I mean getting both of these things to work uh, as opposed to even getting just one to work is uh, is a bit of a design effort now a bit of a spoiler alert here is that I think the Jet did a pretty good job. I think they got it right. It's, uh, it's a handgun that I think shoots just fine as a handgun. It's, it actually, when you're shooting it as a handgun, it feels like it was designed to be a handgun. And they've done, a, a, I think, a really well designed and kind of innovative um, synthetic stock for it that uh, is real easy just to plug together. It doesn't take any tools. It happens in a few seconds. Uh, and uh, it fits pretty well. It's adjustable stock and it, it ends up as a little carbine that actually fits and you can shoot it as a carbine. So anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the gun. We'll look at the details. We'll look at the specs of it. And then I'm going to go out and do some plinking. Then I'll go out and do some targets with it. Um, I'm starting off up here in Minnesota in the snow uh, and I'm just going to be out for a little while shooting but uh, I'm on my way down to Texas to do a hunt and when I'm down there I'm going to uh, seriously set up on the bench and try a bunch of different pellets and see what works in this gun so uh, come on let's go see what happens okay so let's start off taking a quick look at the gun this is a really compact kit as a pistol, the uh, Jet 2 is a handful, but I find it very ergonomic. It just fits right. Um, the dual air reservoir obviously gives more air, so you have a higher shot count, but also I find that the pistol is still really well balanced. It doesn't throw the balance off it at all. Um, there are flip-up sights. There are three sights. There's a uh, front sight, a rear sight, and a mid sight, and you can use these in any combination. I find that in the uh, pistol mode, I like to use the front and the rear sight. When I'm shooting carbine mode, I like to use the front and the middle flip-up sight. I just find that I, I get the best shot alignment that way. Although I've used the gun with a lot of different sighting systems. Um, I used the, a red dot. Um, here I'm using the Hawk red dot. Uh, it's a, a great fast target acquisition system uh, and it uh, works well for, for both plinking and small game. When I'm using a scope on this gun, I'm using the uh, Leapers UTG 3x12x32 mini SWAT mill dot. I think it's a perfect fit. The Jet 2 is cycled with the side lever action. It's smooth and easy to use. The action auto indexes a 7 shot rotary magazine in 22. There's a pressure gauge to monitor air usage. The trigger is very shootable. There's a good tactile feel to the wide trigger blade. I really like that you get two magazines and a single load tray with a gun. This is not standard. I use a 12 by 16 inch pistol case to house my small game setup, which consists of the pistol, uh, the, uh, the stock, a red dot, the uh, gun mounted camera that I use. At the end of the session, I packed everything back in the case and uh, it's ready to store away until I'm going to use it again.
I aired the gun up. Uh, it fills up to 250 bar. That's about 3,600 psi, give or give or take a few. Um, the gun uses a proprietary quick release for filling. Uh, it's not a pro, but it's actually like a foster fitting. It's just a little bit extended, so it'll fit into the recessed um, uh, attachment point uh, at the distal end of the uh, the air reservoir. Filling the gun, um, I was using the Hats Intact Air Pony Pony uh, bottle. For my testing, I was shooting at 30 yards, rested on bags. Uh, there was a medium gusty wind. It was blowing, I'd say, between uh, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Okay, so from the range, uh, you uh, you see the uh, the pellets uh, here that we shot the uh, the exact uh, jumbo express and jumbo heavy, the super domes, the champions, and the hollow points. Uh, first up, JSB exacts. Uh, these are a 14.35 grain pellet. I was getting about 698 feet per second average velocity over the five shots, and the uh, the groups were measuring about one inch center to center. Next up was the JSB Exact Jumbo. Uh, that's an 18.13 grain pellet that was moving at 630 feet per second, 1.14 uh, uh, inches center to center groups. The RWS Superdomes, 14.5 grain moving at 690, 1.02 inches. The Apollo Champion Flats, these surprised me. I thought these were going to be really bad in the, the windy conditions and at the longer range. Um, there were 17 grain flathead pellet. They were moving at 635 frames per second and giving me groups about 1.14 uh, inches. Uh, and last was the Apollo Hollow Point. Uh, this was uh, the next to the heaviest pellet. It was an 18 uh, grain moving at 623 feet per second, giving me uh, 1.34 uh, inches. This was the, the least accurate uh, pellet, but still all of these are within uh, range for, uh, for hunting. Under these conditions, the range I was shooting, I was I was real happy with with this out of this very short-barreled gun. Mm -hmm.